In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a Nowisworks model similar to what I have here, which identifies what changes a user has gone through to create a specific task. Uh, so for example, in this case, a user has modeled a bilge and ballast system, and everything that is green and red is pretty much what they've changed. Everything that's gray is, uh, in essence, hasn't been touched by the user and uh, is used more just for reference. Uh, you'll be able to use uh, Nowisworks functionality to do clash detections. So if you want to do a clash on just the items that have changed by the user with the rest of the model, you'll be able to do that uh, this way by ignoring all the rest of the clashes that are not relevant to the user. And we're going to be doing all this through uh, the enterprise platform Publisher LT as well as Ship Constructor Tasks. Uh, so the first step is to start up Enterprise Platform Publisher LT and connect to your project. Uh, you want to uh, use Load Manager to load all the items uh, for a specific task. Uh, so all the changes a user has done is associated to a specific task. And in this case, I want um, the build system that has been created. So in here, I want to set the operation of creating a Navisworks Excel file, which will be linked and shown the changes, as well as at the same time, I want to load uh, some drawings to create a Navisworks model. And in this case, I'm just going to use a unit two uh, because just to keep the scope a little bit lower, but I can add um, the entire unit, or sorry, the entire project uh, or just even a larger portion of units, more units. So if I select OK, and then I say that for the rest of these drawings, I want to create a Navisworks model, and then I click Run. Depending how, how big your Navisworks model is will depend on how long this uh, operation takes. Uh, it can take anywhere from about uh, 15 seconds to even up to two, three minutes. Again, the more models and the more parts that are in there, the longer it will take. So this operation's complete. So if I click close, if I click the location where the files are being generated, and if I see this NWF file that has just been created, click and open it up in Navisworks. And just to allow everyone that has uh, just freedom, so a, a non-paid version of Navisworks, uh, you'll want to uh, create an NWD file. And we'll call this one waveform output. And again, anybody that has freedom will be able to open this file. And then if we open up the output file that we created, now you'll be able to see all the changes that uh, have been uh, created by the user. Uh, so if you select this item here, this is the system that has actually been changed by the user. If you want to be able to see it um, in reference with everything else, you'll be able to uh, select all items, uh, over at the color, uh, over at the transparency. And then reset all the items that have been changed by the user. So here you'll be able to see all the changes that the user has actually created. Uh, and then be able to even select an item and get all the ship constructor properties um, for those parts. So you have very rich and intelligent data. And if there's any uh, reason why they need to go back to ship constructor, they'll be able to right click on this and use the switch back command to open up the ship constructor project. So hopefully that gives you an idea of uh, being able to view modifications in ship constructor using publisher LT and ship constructor tasks.